Hello friends and welcome back to Let's Play Colonization! Our pioneers are in Nobscot and they're all ready to plow the town commons for more food production. So he's gonna get plowing before everyone starves. Toopy gave us coats. That, I'm not coats. Coats would have been useful. They gave us furs. I can't do much with furs. And there are more expert ore miners available. What else is new? We have quite a few of those expert ore miners now. I think we already talked to the Aztecs at the capital. Yes, we did. I'm gonna fortify this wagon train because I don't have anything to do with it right now. And we have some valuable trade goods. All right. One, two, three, four, five, five six, seven, eight. I gotta get those trade goods out. Alright, let's talk to these guys. They train master cotton planters and they want tobacco, coats, and horses. And they're gonna tell me about nearby lands? Not too much about them. Nothing useful, really. And this looks like a good spot for a city, so let's found the city of... Boston. Yes. Boston, Nicaragua. No, this is actually Mexico, but... Bo Boston, yes. This is where Boston is. And cut wood. Unfortunately, this particular area only produces two food, so we'll need more food in order to actually get someone in here to use the lumber, such as this fisherman. It's unfortunate the way that works, but can't do anything about it. And here's the Arawak capital, so we'll trade with them. And we paid, what, 200 for these? 300? So a fairer price would be 809 gold. Oh, fine, I'll accept 608 gold for the trade goods. I suppose I can accept that. And they want tobacco, cloth, and rum. And I don't think 229 is a fair price for, for coats, so I'll just forget that. Nothing but rumors there. And these fishermen would be useful, but again, there's no food here, so I can't actually stick them in there. And I think we have some treasure in Roanoke, just sitting here. So let's go to Roanoke with this galleon so we can actually transport the treasure. And the town is now plowed. Excellent. So now I will have this fellow walk all the way to... Actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to have the the privateer give the expert pioneers a, a ride over to Boston. Aztecs, see that your food stores are low. 75 food. Let us eat together and give thanks for our good fortune. You have any turkey? Thanks. These guys were nice. They gave us a bunch of food. So now that we have a bunch of food, we can actually bring that fisherman in to build docks while the other guy cuts wood. And Plymouth has a blacksmith shop. He's producing 12 tools, and this ore miner is only producing 6 ore. So if we cleared this rainforest here and got another expert ore miner in, then the amount of ore collected would equal the amount of tools produced. That's pretty good right there. Let's build an armory. An armory will allow us to convert our tools into muskets. And muskets plus free colonists equals an army. We could use an army. That would be helpful. Let's explore over here. Oh, look, there's that last Aztec city. One, two, three. Whoa. Four, five. I think I'll just attack here. French caravel evades. How dare you. Two. And another Apache camp. They train cotton planters and they want tobacco, coats, and horses. And they're going to tell me more about nearby lands. That's all anyone does around here is tell me about nearby lands. And now that we have 75 food in here, I can actually... No, I don't want that. I can actually use the 
fishermen to help build docks. Excellent. And these dragoons are just standing by. Wait. Yeah, that's the last turn here. I'm just going to skip it. Price of lum, rum fell. Cloth fell. All right. All right. A little bit of gold. That's good. One, two, three. All right, let's see if you pull that off a second time, Caravel. Two furs. Two furs? Seriously? Nothing but rumors. What was that guy doing hauling around two tons of fur? Waste of time. He's the door hunter. I know something displeasure that your presence continues to def befoul New Spain. New Spain. Ugh. We are currently busy subduing something notorious heathen Tupi tribe. Yeah, I'll say. Will you, as fellow believers, join us? Join with us in this holy task? Never! The Tupi are harmless and peaceful, except when you bring treasure near them. Pirates? There are no pirates. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. I You couldn't even finish your whole sentence. You just said the Pope is most displeased something 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 English pirates. It doesn't make sense. There are no pirates. I'm sorry. The Pope has told us that something, something, all English from the shores of New Spain. And he expects to blackmail us. Oh, ho, ho, ho. not a penny for those heretic swine. Although the English do not properly belong in this hemisphere, we elect not to drive you from the New World at this time. Well, thank you so much. First, you must withdraw your forces from outside our colonies. Your forces protect valid Spanish interests. Withdraw or perish! In the interest of peace, you should... Yeah, yeah, you better withdraw. Or I'm gonna grab them. Grab their... people. Their unit. I will destroy them! That's what I was trying to say. The Aztec are giving us silver. Ouch. You better be careful with what I do there. Alright. Uh, caravel. War miner. Tools. Muskets. Alright. Set sail for the new world, I guess. Well, actually, why don't I grab some trade goods for 300? Well, the price of trade goods is rising. Drap. Steady as she goes. And the last Aztec city trains farmers, and they want tools, trade goods, and rum. And they'll also tell me about nearby lands. I've learned just about all I can about nearby lands. Now, why don't you... No, 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 no. How do I dump the... Dump cargo. Furs. I don't want them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. An Iroquois village that trains fur trappers, and they want tobacco, cloth, and cigars. And I've already been there. Is that right? I guess so. I just didn't remember. How embarrassing. One, two, three, four. Hmm. I don't like these Spanish. I don't like them one bit. Let me have a look at the... No, that's not it. Foreign Affairs Advisor. The Spanish have 17 colonists. Hmm. I think the time has come to punish the Spanish for their insolence. So I will do that. English Dragoons routed. Spain, Spain, Spain. Why do you do these things? Clear your orders. I'll load the pioneers onto that um, privateer and sail with them to Boston. These colonists will be mine. Alright, Roanoke needs extra colonists. 
right there. That's a lot of good food there. So this guy is providing enough food for himself and for one other person. And for some horses. Toopy are giving us coats. That's nice of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to sail all the way over here and give the Aztecs some trade goods. I think the Aztecs will like trade goods. France. These people are all confused. It's not New France. It's not New Spain. It's New England. Why don't they understand? See, this guy's fingers aren't in the way. Our king is most displeased with the English pirates lying in wait. Yeah, it probably has something to do with your treacherous colonization behavior. There are no pirates. How much do you value your worthless lives? Right. Yeah, this indentured servant doesn't really have much to do. I'll have him sit there for a second. One, two, three. So rum rose and cloth rose. Coats fell. Plymouth is more rebellious. There you go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. One, two, three. The Sioux. So sue me. We found the Sioux. I think these are the last Indians. We found quite a few Indian tribes. They have seven camps. All right. We have perpetual friendship with the Sioux. Well, we'll send a scout to visit with you soon. Santo Domingo does not even have a stockade, which makes it ripe for the, well, perhaps not so ripe for the attack. Spanish soldiers routed. And our dragoons are now veterans, yes. I think we got away with, got away with something there. All right, so I'm gonna have these guys fish. These guys can cut, uh, not cut wood can help build, as we have three hammers for each of these free colonists, so that's six hammers here, and this free colonist is cutting wood, six lumber, so that's six lumber here, six hammers here, and this guy will fish for us. We'll clear the orders on this treasure. One, wait, one, two, sorry about that. There are not enough horses in Roanoke, but there are in Plymouth, so I'll go to Plymouth. Here's a bunch of gold. I'll load that onto the galleon and go to London. And lumber is full at Knobscot. This because we've got some, like, weaver or something. Yeah, we've got a weaver building things here and an expert lumberjack cutting the wood. So, of course, there's more wood than there is then there are hammers. Roanoke has a warehouse. All right. Roanoke is probably going to need a stockade to defend itself from wicked Spanish. Plymouth produced an armory. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now, how about a schoolhouse? A schoolhouse will allow us to teach free colonists or indentured servants, one of these skills. The only thing is we have to have enough food going around in the colony to have two guys standing around, or no, one guy standing around. There has to be a teacher standing around at the schoolhouse and someone to be trained. So I can get expert farmers or fishermen that way. I think that's well worth the, well worth the expense. I just need a free colonist. Oh, grab those coats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Fortify that. Maybe I can just dump this guy in here. Like that. There we go. One, two, three. 
and it's a city of Aztecs. We probably paid two or three hundred for these, so a fairer price to sell them would be 759 gold. Well, I will accept 590 gold. They want tobacco, tools, and cigars. Silver would be great. And they will give me 25 silver for 256 gold. That would make a price of 1,024 gold for 100 silver. I will gladly pay that amount. Those guys don't know what the silver's worth. In London. Let's visit this place. They train cotton planters and they want tobacco, cloth, and horses. And they're going to tell me more about nearby lands because I just haven't heard enough about nearby lands. I don't really want to attack Santo Domingo like that again, so I'm going to retreat. One, two, more. Get this guy horses. All right. No tax rate and our own galleon. We get 100% of that treasure. 3,800 gold. So now we can buy goodies. Like. I could buy a frigate, but I can only use a frigate if I'm at war with someone. And plus it gets six moves instead of the privateer's eight. So I am actually going to buy a privateer because I like privateers. And I'm actually going to thinking I'll buy some horses. No, I shouldn't do that. I should buy some tools. Should I buy horses? How much gold do I have? 2960? Alright, I'll buy some horses. Set sail for the new world. And I'll get my new privateer out there immediately. Next time on Let's Play Colonization, we will continue our campaign against the evil Spanish and find out what this Frenchman here wants. Can't be anything good. See you then!